He was born Charles Raymond Offenberg in Chicago, Illinois, a very long time ago. In the beginning, he was a singer. At the tender age of 13, he got his first radio gig. At 16, he had his own 15-minute, twice-a-week radio show and a new name, Ray Charles. He was on his way. Sheet music was a big item, and so it was only natural Ray gravitated to the attractive pianist at the music publisher's building and married her thus ensuring himself a lifetime supply of professional copies. There was a new kind of group singing going around, characterized by four-part close harmony. He joined a quartet, picked the short straw, and became the arranger. He moved to New York and joined a group called the Double Daters. The year was 1943. What did you do in the war, Daddy? Ray was drafted and was assigned combat duty in the Bronx. He was choral director at the Wave Training School at Hunter College, with a new shipment of female singers arriving every two weeks. He wrote a whole new library, arranged and conducted, and appeared with the lady choirs on every major radio show in New York. After the war, Ray picked up where he left off. It was a great time to be in the Big Apple. Lots of singing, jingles, and record dates and one Broadway show. In 1949, two of the radio shows Ray had been working on did test for TV and ushered in the golden age of television variety shows. For seven years, Ray was choral director or arranger of Your Hit Parade. Tune in again next week at the same time when your hit parade will again bring you the lucky seven songs of the week. And for 36 years, choral director, arranger, and writer of special material for the Perry Como Show. We have what we call stand-ins. I have probably the most expensive of all, Mr. Ray Charles. When I'm not here, when I'm sort of busy running around, <laughs> Ray always sings all the songs, and he arranges all of my songs, all the special materials, is all of uh, Mr. Charles' stuff. And he, uh, he has a, uh, not a bad voice. Oh, it's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day for moving along. Yes, it's a good day. How could anything go wrong? A good day from morning till night. There were all those records with Como. And then he wrote... Letters. We get letters. We get stacks and stacks of letters. It was Perry Como who named the Ray Charles Singers. And when Ray was asked to record just the choir, he introduced that personal and intimate sound he became famous for. He recorded 30 albums, on TV, he worked with everyone, and the choirs just kept getting bigger. Singers loved to sing his arrangements. He even had a hit. For the New York World's Fair in 1964, Ray wrote nine original songs for the Continental Insurance Exhibition. Eyes and ears of the newborn nation, Ellen McLean. Let me tell you about the only woman who enlisted as a man. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, General Verschuben was here. Music and television were changing, and Ray relocated to Los Angeles. There were more series and more specials. Since the day the Emerald Isle came on the scene, it has always had a tree of Kelly Green. <laughs> Believe me when I say your figures smelt My patty hoser helping out my belt One, she's devious, two, extravagant, three she's He received back-to-back -back Emmys for special material. such vanity, five insanity There were Como shows around the world. my true love gave to me Five pastry trays And he still kept singing. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his. Three stop for me too. 
then he went to London to work with Jim Henson and company on The Muppet Show. Don't be surprised if you meet Captain Hook, cause our version won't always follow the book. Get set for adventure as soon as you finish your falling. Find a spot and pinch a little flab. was his musical director of the Muppets 30th anniversary show that Ray cleared up one of the great confusions of show business by changing his name again, at least on the credit roll, to the other Ray Charles. It's the 21st century and Ray is still at it. Benefits for the Society of Singers, Memorial Day and Fourth of July concerts in Washington, D.C., and for the last 18 years, one of the classiest acts in music has been writing, arranging, and conducting for one of the classiest shows on television, the Kennedy Center Honors. As his friend and colleague Meredith Wilson put it, he's a music man. He's been in love with music as long as he can remember, and that's a long, long time. 